What's up guys, it is time. It is time to do a speed test comparison between the Android 8.0 powered Samsung Galaxy S8 versus a NuGet powered Galaxy S8 Plus. Now both phones are having same specification, just a difference in the software, new versus old, and we already did the speed test against the iPhone 10 and the results were surprising. If you haven't watched that video, check it out. But this is very interesting because I don't know what to expect. You guys want to see the overall performance. Let's get started. Okay, so kicking things off with a boot up comparison so we're gonna do it at the same time here we go and let's see let's see okay that text came up at the same time galaxy sa plus galaxy s8 okay sa plus going to the logo and now it is taking the final time oh my god who's going to win oh my god still the galaxy s8 won the boot up so you, you guys have seen that the logo came up first, but the Galaxy S8 still managed to beat the S8 Plus. So that's the improvement right there. And not only this, the S8 is also faster than the iPhone 10 when it comes to booting up. So Oreo is making this phone a beast again. All right, moving on to the apps opening test. So first off, we'll be going to the basic stuff, which is the phone dialer. So let's try this at the same time. Here we go. And as you can see, uh, I think tiny bit quicker on the Samsung Galaxy S8. Let's check out another system-based app, which is going to be settings. And again, it seems like the Galaxy S8 is tiny bit ahead of the S8 Plus. That was a nice system-based warm-up. Uh, let's launch some third-party applications. So starting off with a game, which is going to be Pinout. So Pinout is the first game. Here we go. As you can see, about the same on both phones. Can't really say which one was ahead. So first game is a draw. How about Subway Surfers? I'm trying my best here to launch them at the same time. And as you can see, uh, the Galaxy S8 was tiny bit faster. Again, you guys are judge here. Uh, this one showed this tap to play screen just a little bit faster than the S8 Plus. So moving on to the Instagram, okay. Let's see, that is uh, about the same, really hard to tell. Both pretty much loaded the feed at the same time. Uh, let's check out my profile. Here we go. And the Galaxy S8 seems to be faster there. Let's load this post, about the same on both phones. So, so we got SoundCloud, Galaxy S8 done, then the S8 Plus. How about Spotify? And uh, Pretty much the same. Snapchat, Samsung Galaxy S8. Also got another game that is Smash Hit. Let's see. Similar stuff there. We're going to launch one more game, uh, which is going to be the Alto game. So let's see. No alerts during game. Who is going to be faster? Samsung Galaxy S8 is faster there. Okay, both have the ads popped up, so can I go back? Yes, the game is actually loading in the background, but you can see the S8 was uh, just a tiny bit quicker in loading up this game. So lastly, we'll be opening up cameras on both phones at the same time, boom. And as you can see, the Samsung Galaxy S8 was quicker there as well. Moving on to the browser test. So first off, we have WWE.com. Again, we are using the default internet application from Samsung on both phones. So let's see who is going to be faster. Seems like the Galaxy, okay, both are taking some time. Both are at the end. Which one will finish off first? And the Oreo Galaxy S8 finishes off faster uh, than the S8 Plus. So uh, you can see the S8 Plus did load the ad. Uh, this one didn't, but this one finished up quicker uh, with this full website loading time. And again, zooming in and out, no difference whatsoever. We have one more website, which is wikipedia.org. And as you can see, the Galaxy S8 is finished quicker compared to the S8 Plus. So overall, you can see the Oreo definitely provides some faster things to the Galaxy S8 compared to the Nougat. So uh, the game loading times were slightly faster in some games. And also uh, in other applications, you have seen the difference as well as in the booting time. So uh, the web browsing time was also better on the Oreo. But let's see the RAM management. Uh, as you can see, both phones are keeping the phone dialer 
in the memory we got settings that is also there pin out okay so the new good galaxy sa plus actually refresh the pinout game so that's the first refresh there the oreo s8 is still keeping things in the memory how about subway surfers and that is still there on both phones as you can see i can quickly jump into the gameplay with no delay whatsoever but let's see let's see let's see we got instagram and this is also there soundcloud still there spotify and that's also there the oreo is so far going perfect snapchat is also there and let's see let's see let's see let's see we got smash hit and uh, still there and back to the alto game so that's also kept there so in this test i actually launched four games compared to three uh, which i launched in the iphone 10 speed test but you can see it doesn't matter the S8 is still keeping everything in the memory. So the S8 Plus did refresh one application, which was the uh, pinout, but the Oreo powered Galaxy S8 kept everything in the memory, not a single refresh. So there is no doubt that Samsung has definitely made this phone a beast again for those people who may be experiencing issues. The Oreo will make your phone really fast. And also, a lot of people say that the speed is now equivalent to the Galaxy Note 8. So if you guys want to see a speed test against the Note 8, let me know. Uh, it would be awesome to check uh, how the Note 8 will handle the S8 because Note 8 actually has a updated experience UI compared to the S8 Plus. The S8 Plus is still having 8.1 experience UI based on Android 7.0 NuGet. The Note 8 is kind of like in between with the 7.1 NuGet. So that will be an interesting test. Let me know if you want to see that and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to watch a full dedicated review of the Android Oreo and you want to check all the features, I will leave the link down below of my full review. You can check it out. And from there, you can also learn how to have it on your phone. So uh, thank you so much for watching this and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.